let's go with um, so Christians and conspiracy theories. And so I've got a ton of questions uh, pertaining to this. And I got to say this. I mean, I guarantee if you've listened to all my podcasts up to this point, you you have to know. I think I've already referenced it in other podcasts. I'm very um, I have a conspiracy theory bone in me. You know, I, I'm fascinated by this stuff, uh, by all things conspiracy. It's just, again, it wasn't up, it was up until maybe the last 10 years or so. I really kind of jumped down the rabbit hole. Um, but, you know, some people find it, find them fascinating and some people could just, they could care less. And so um, I have a lot of people in my family who fall in that category. They don't care at all. Not me. So... Christians and conspiracy theories. So how far, so the first kind of sub question is how far is too far down the rabbit hole? And so I get a lot of people saying, well, Joel, like you, I see you posting all these videos and are reacting to them. What's the point to it? It's easy to, or it's one thing to be interested in something, but how does it, how does it help you in your walk with Jesus? Like, how does it bring you closer to him? And how do you keep from being distracted and 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 you know going down the rabbit hole to where it's becoming um, a negative thing for you in in your faith and your walk with God? Which then leads to the second part of that question: like how should so then how should we approach it as Christians? So how far is too far down the rabbit hole, and how far or and how should we approach it as Christians? This is the tension that I get so many people asking me about. And so I, I, I think, I think it definitely is possible to go down the rabbit hole and become too obsessed with it for sure. Um, I think the nature of conspiracy theories, and again, that term in and of itself has been butchered. But when I say that, we all know what I'm talking about. When we're dealing with conspiracy theories, it's the the tension is figuring out well which part is actually true and which part isn't true and because you start hearing a whole bunch of stuff and so how do you know how do you parse what part is real what part is not real what part's fake and if you're chasing after parts of you know conspiracies that are not real then that's where you can really start going down the rabbit hole because you can start just going off and and the thing is, you don't even know that you're going off. And so what are some conspiracies here that are very common? Well, we got, you know, for example, ones that have interested me, uh, the moon landing. Did it actually happen? Did it not actually happen? Or we got 9-11. Was that an inside job or not? We have, uh, especially now at the point of this recording, which is, end of July 2023 that movie The Sound of Freedom was just released talking about sex trafficking and the global issue of it well there's certain governmental elites that are known to being the proponents the leaders the 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 brains behind the sex trafficking stuff that's happening so that's another conspiracy flat earth has been a huge one over the last 5 6 years Area 51, we got clones, got the Illuminati, and we got the big one too, alien and alien abductions. So when you look at these eight, for example, eight big ones that are really prevalent in our culture right now, I mean, it's easy to go down the rabbit hole in these, to get lost kind of in there, to get overwhelmed, I guess, with all of the the possibilities with all of the information and it it's it's its own in a sense it's its own world and so yes it is possible to go too far down to where it becomes consuming and starts taking over so we, we need and so what i would say is is we need balance because here's where i think i will differ from a lot of christians so how should christians approach this because here's the thing to just say, oh, it's all wrong. All conspiracy theories are incorrect. It's just all garbage. Well, that's a very, I think, naive and incorrect assumption because a lot of these 
because there is truth in all of them. There are things that may not be what we've been told. And so I think that, and we also have to find the balance, but we also can't be naive and we can't be afraid to step out of our, our box, our comfort zone, to actually think about some of this stuff. Because stuff is happening. I mean, let's take aliens and alien abductions. 20 years ago, talking about aliens, you were, a, you were considered crazy. Tin foil wearing, tin foil hat wearing, nutso. That's, that's, that's what you were. But now the government just came out saying that they've interacted with and, and they have have non-human entities. They've captured them from craft. And so we can't just, as Christians say, well, the, it, they're just making it up. It, 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 they're, they're, they're lying. Well, what? Like we have to actually ask Christians, okay, what does this mean? We have to have the, the capacity to, to engage with our culture about these things. We can't just simply say they're not real. They don't exist. We can't just say, oh, it's just, and we also can't just say, oh, it's just demonic. Oh, it's just demons. I can't stand that answer. And I hear it all the time from all over. It's just demons. No, it's not just demons. And I addressed that actually in a few episodes ago. I talk about, I did a, a podcast on why aliens aren't fallen angels and they're not demons. So I encourage you to check that out if you haven't listened to it already. But my point is this, we can't be afraid to address these topics, dialogue with them, because the world's talking about them. And we can't just isolate ourselves in a little church communities, in a little bubble, and act completely naive and oblivious to what's going on. And so I think, yes, there is a danger in getting sucked in the rabbit hole of conspiracies, for sure, but we can't be afraid of them either. And I think that we have to do our due diligence as Christians to look into them, to study them, to familiarize, to educate ourselves about them because the world's talking about it. They're actually culturally relevant issues. And one of the biggest things I think that the church struggles at, is not good at, is their the church oftentimes is too busy answering questions the world's not asking. And so I think that when it comes to conspiracy theories, we have to be balanced, but we have to be able to have dialogue and conversation, intellectual conversation about them because the world is. And if the church doesn't want to talk about them, if the church doesn't want to engage, then they're just going to go to find other sources that are not going to be able to give them a biblical based perspective on the supernatural, on these different things that are, that are out there and that are real and that are happening. And so we can't be afraid to engage. We and but we also and we also have to be prepared to study and to learn and to educate ourselves so that we can have dialogue so i think it's a balance i think we can get carried away but then we also can't be completely oblivious we got to find that happy medium that happy balance so that's my answer and i also i do want to say I'm going to be breaking down a lot of these specific conspiracy theories in future episodes just because I think they're they're I just think they're fascinating. I think it it makes for great conversation, but especially with alien and alien abductions, especially with the sex traffic, um I think and even clones and transhumanism. I think these are are topics that are super relevant in our culture and i think there's a lot of stuff that needs to be said about it from a christian perspective and and how christians should respond so that'll be coming in future episodes fyi